Hey guys, Nails here again uh, with another Minecraft video. I'm not going to teach you guys how to do anything because there's a million videos like that out on YouTube basically. This time around we're going to go through, uh, go over basically my active Minecraft server that I'm running right now. Uh, the reason I decided to run a Minecraft server is uh, mostly because I used to run with some other friends and co-workers and uh, I actually would build like some big huge stuff you know like a big building or something on their server uh, and I did it on several servers actually uh, or several maps because we were, we were with one particular guy and basically he uh, it wasn't backing up his stuff or something and he lost the map and he lost like everybody's work and I mean, I don't know how he did it, just the whole file corrupted, which I've never actually seen, but it really ticked me off and it motivated me to make my own server so that all my work would never be lost again and I can just, you know, compound everything and then all the people that are on my server, basically, so that we can keep up with the versions and whatnot, um, I will transplant consolidated items that they make you know if it's something underground then I'll, I'll just use MC edit and I'll, tr I'll you know we'll roll a new map for you know you know if they add new like when they added emeralds uh, we rolled this map for 1.3 so that we could get the emeralds that spawn randomly not that that's a big deal that there's not many of them but uh, you know just uh, <clears throat> just rolling the map just so that uh, you know people can work on some big stuff in SMP going by SMP rules fully legit mining everything they build and all this kind of stuff and you know really building some big projects and whatnot um, by SMP rules so that you know they can enjoy the fun of SMP while you know building really cool things um, you know over a long period of time with friends and whatnot so that was kind of the point of my server and that's one of the reasons why uh, I decided to uh, make this server basically so what you're looking at right now is a building that I've actually been working on for probably two years or two and a half years or something like that really really long time um, and uh, this is the third map it's been transplanted to and I actually finished the course structure of it on this map I still plan to build more you know like uh, you know stuff on top of it on the roof and stuff you'll see that later but it's about nine stories high it's a really really big building um, it's all SM I mean I mined all of it by hand um, took a really long time really really awesome uh, and it just took forever to build. I think I watched like every season of Star Trek on every series front to back while building this whole thing. Just crazy. So anyway, uh, you can't see any doors, um, but this is what the door into this place looks like. There's four of them, and they're in all four corners of the building. Uh, so basically it's a zero surface door I showed in my previous video, but this one's much better, uh, way more compact. Uh, it's actually a really, really awesome door. It work, works really, really well. Uh, you can kind of see a quick little thing in the circuit. So basically there's four of these rooms all in the same spot. And uh, in a moment you'll see me run through all of them. But I'm just going to give you a quick run past of all the circuits so you guys know them. It's an actual legit circuit. I did an SMP. Um, I didn't, uh, this isn't like Tech It or some, there's no mods on the server. The server's completely vanilla other than Bucket. I, we just use the raw bucket. Um, so yeah, so here's, you know, an opposite corner with the door, you know, and each one's, you know, southwest, east, etc. for all, all four corners. Um, so you can get out. We're in the basement right now. Everything you see here was carved out. This all used to be solid. And I mined all of it out, all the ore and all that stuff. And then I put in the half block walls around the outer sides and all the, the, the ceiling and the walls and the floor all filled in with half block. So it took a really long time, but it was a lot of fun. Um, courtyard there that used to be up a level where ground level used to be, but I lowered it down to this level instead. Um, this is a, they call it a beacon, I believe. I don't remember the exact name for it, but you get it from the, uh, you get that, that star from the uh, fighting the wither boss, which we fought legit. We got several people together and, well, two people actually. And we fought the wither boss and did a lot of kiting and dying and you know respawning close by and just keep shooting it and shooting it till we finally got it down 
Uh, so we're gonna go up the floors. You know, this isn't too long, but I'm just gonna kind of go through in the the place and show you. There's a lot of empty space in this thing because I just finished the core of it and I'm just starting to fill rooms in on it. So I'll let you kind of see what's filled in so far. But like I said, most of this is empty. And like this entire floor is completely empty. I have my current spawn point right here, which is like it's kind of sad. I plan to build like a really nice like house up on the roof, and that's where my that's probably where I'll put my spawn point eventually, but for right now, it's right there because it's in a nice central location, I guess. And I'm, I don't die too often because once you have this many resources, you have lots of armor. And now that they have the lava pots, you can just keep a pot, a, a, a fire resistance pot close by. And if you fall into lava, you can dunk that thing and you live. It's awesome. Uh, this is floor two. Not much in here. Uh, Floor two is completely abandoned. Uh, you know, there's there's rooms that I've pre-made in them, but not they're not used at all. You know, one of these days I'll fill it up with stuff. Uh, this is the third floor. Uh, you can see uh, pumpkin room here. This is just all pumpkins, lots and lots of pumpkins. I haven't really found a really good use for pumpkins, really. I guess the jack o' lantern would be really good, but I don't think the lighting level is as good as glowstone. I prefer glowstone more than uh, pumpkins for lighting like that. Glowstone or lava. This is the animal farm. So I'm just keep duplicating animals forever to get all the resources I need and whatnot. Cows and tons of wool. All that kind of fun stuff. stuff. Most of this stuff just goes to the villagers so I can get emeralds. It's really good. Villagers love animal products, I guess. So give all those to the villagers and get lots of emeralds. And I don't really know what the point of emeralds are yet. I haven't really used them for anything. And the melon, this is the exact replica of the pumpkin farm. Exactly the same, just all melons. Just it's like I have all these gigantuous empty rooms, and you know, if you're gonna fill it, you gotta fill it all the way up properly, right? It's a big ass building. Uh, this is the fourth floor. This is a double high, so I made this twice as high as any of the other floors, just so I always had this feeling I was gonna need a floor with really high ceilings, and it turns out I was right. So, this is a reed farm, a pretty common design. I actually had to read, I had to redo the, the reed farm because. The original reed farm was uh, just pushing with pistons, but since uh, 1.2, there's been that piston bug. Uh, so basically, you can see it's a pretty straightforward layout. Uh, quick block punch, and down the river they go. I was mentioning, or I was mentioning that uh, I had to redo it. Yeah, I originally did it with the pistons, and since the 1.2 patch, it actually. Uh, it actually broke, believe it or not. The, uh, there's a there's a bug that if you have th this exact same design, but you have just the raw piston killing the reeds instead of uh, dirt or another block, the, it bugs, and the top row of pistons will just jam open, and they just won't work anymore. You have to like kill the broken you don't, you like kill the broken arm, and it works again. So yeah, I don't know what's up with that. But anyway, I just I had to rebuild both rooms because I built them with the old piston design. I, had to rebuild me because they need like two additional spaces on either side. Uh, this is my forest room. This is, uh, I call it my racist tree farm because it's all birch. <laughs> but uh, basically, the birch is really nice, obviously, because you don't have to stack at all to get to the top wood. You can fit under every single tree and you can axe all the way up. So it's the fastest tree to harvest. Um, that's why I like it. Uh, saplings so uh, yeah that's just a tree I just found out that entire room when I need wood and then I'll replant it really quick I got torches basically marking the grid that you'd replace the saplings back down in so it's, it's pretty quick you can get a lot of wood really quick through there and you can farm wood all day and night uh, this is my lake room basically for fishing and growing mushrooms if needed right now they're just for looks. I was thinking about expanding this lake, little mini lake, into like a whole room. 
Uh, I didn't really see the point. There's plenty of room just to fish in there, so. Yeah, see now, I don't know why when I recorded this I had some lag. The server was having some lag, so I get, you get that delay. It took me a while to figure that out, but I realized later that I had to stand on the pad and wait for the door to open and then run through to give the server a chance to catch up with the fact that the door is open. But I forget, and you'll see me do that several more times. It's very annoying. Uh, these are little elevators. There's one in each corner of this uh, lobby. We're skipping the fifth and sixth floor because there's nothing. There's nothing there. They're all empty. Waiting for whatever. I have to think of something useful to put in them. You know, I'm not going to put stuff in there. Just it's nice having empty rooms because I can I can just fill them later if need be. It's just nice having these gigantic empty rooms that are fully lit. I don't have to worry about mobs spawning anywhere in this gigantic building. It's pretty sweet. So I just, I just got lots of harvesters. I harvest everything. So I got total of six wheat harvesters. We got four in here and two you just saw back there. Um, I wanted to make everything in brick and I might eventually. It's not that big of a deal. I just need to go farm more clay. I actually did farm more clay but I need crap tons of clay to make enough brick to brick all these harvesters. There's that lag spot again. Okay so this is my carrot farm obviously. This is since 1.45 you can have carrots and potatoes took forever like everybody in the server is like farming zombies like, has anyone got a carrot drop yet no it took forever someone finally got one and then we just started duplicating the hell out of it impatience i haven't figured it out yet i've figured out that i just have to stand on the door stand on the pad let the door open gotta use that logic you're still not using it gotta stand on the button I love watching me figure out my own logic, like I'm a like I'm a child. It's hilarious. <clears throat> then we got more harvesters over here. The seventh floor is probably my favorite. I come here a lot, obviously, when I need food, when I need resources, and when I need nether wart. Lots and lots of nether wart. It's kind of funny when you have the stream things on this nether wart, and you have the water coming down to mow them all up. Uh, they go really slow just because they're in the soul sand. But it's not so slow that they like despawn or anything like that, so it's it's pretty cool. It's a crap ton of nether wart, man. I mean, I have so much. Like, you only need like one nether wart to like, you know, make three potions. So you imagine it's just it's completely overkill. I don't need that many, but you know, other people on the server might need some, so they can just click those two things, dump it all down, and replant them really quick, and be on their way with a massive load of nether wart, and they didn't even have to work hard for it cool stuff <clears throat> this is my build room I don't know why but since I started playing Minecraft I always make all my build rooms out of complete glass it's just I don't know one of the things I do and I will kick all those furnaces up like building this building those furnaces were going they might ne not necessarily have been in that room they were after I finished this floor but those furnaces were kicking full steam like when I need tons of glass I got them all just churning out tons of sand and stuff. This this place took a crap ton of glass for all the windows. Just putting in all the windows for this place took like a month of casual playing. I don't hardcore any of this. This building was not hardcore. Like I said, it's very casual over the last two, two and a half years. Um, we originally, I originally started this, I want to say it was pre-launch. I think it was beta 1.8. Or 1.7, right around there. No. Yeah? Yeah, it's like 1.8, 1.7 um, is when uh, I started building this building. And I've been working on it ever since. And then basically, as we roll new maps, I just transplant it to the next map. This is the third map we've been on. So this is the floor you didn't get to see. I'm just cutting to it really quick because I don't want the other people on the server to see uh, where my how to get to my hidden area where I hide all my stuff. Uh, but basically it's a completely hidden floor I made in this building. And I built the building so that, you know, it's, it's a maze kind of, and you don't, you you can't see the, 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 the hidden floor. You, you just can't even see it. It's completely blended because there's so many floors and this floor is just mixed in among all of them. Um, it, I just, I cloak the whole thing. It's really cool. Uh, 
it was in my original plans when I originally decided to build the whole thing. But basically, I just wanted a place where I could just really stockpile all my stuff. And I didn't have to worry about anybody rummaging through it, um, even on an SMP server, because they'd really have to tear up my building to get here. So it's pretty cool. But I'm just going through. You can kind of see where this is all miscellaneous, basically raw materials and stuff like that. These are all construction items, so stuff I've made that's not wood, or not pure wood, I guess. Lots of cool stuff in here. Lots of track. This is the alchemy area. So I just make all my potions here. I want to make it kind of cool. I only have like two stands, but I have all this stuff around it. You actually need all the stuff. You need all the water, and you need all the uh, potions, and just storage, and you know, build craft things and you just you just need all that stuff because when you're making pots you just want all the stuff like right here so I just want to make sure I had plenty of room for the alchemy area this is another room nothing too important there just tons of chests full of nether rags full of sand and stuff That's food over there food stockpiling that I eventually usually sell most of it to NPCs this is the stone room we got half blocks and cobblestone and cooked stone and Stone brick and miscellaneous stone. This is the armory. I actually plan to make this kind of cooler later. Right now it's nothing special, just leftover garbage all up in my diamond set, my one diamond set. When we go kill weather wither bosses or go to fortresses or something like that. Uh, this is wood. Nothing too special. I put all my wood make stuff in there. Just keep that separate from the build materials. <clears throat> this is a desert room. So clay and glass and sand and all that kind of stuff in here. I need to go clay hunting. I need like 10 chests full of clay so I can make all my uh, I want to make all my harvesters out of brick just because it looks way cooler you can tell I put these uh, ender chests everywhere just because they're so convenient I wish you could do a double ender chest that would be pretty awesome the saddle stockpiled in there I plan to eventually make this whole room emerald blocks because there's no real reason to use emerald blocks right now And the dirt room. Not really gonna go in here. There's nothing too special. In there. So yeah. So yeah, it's just it's pretty cool. Uh, there's one more area over here. I'm gonna run to really quick. You can tell I'm running faster than normal because of the haze haste buff from the uh, whatever star thing. I forgot what it's called. The beacon. This is where I stockpile my uh, gold and iron. And you're going to see some picture glitches here because there were some minor render tweaks when I rendered all this. You might see them, you might not. I think, I'm, I think I've debugged them out, but we'll see. If you see any glitches, then that's what they are. Uh, video glitches, don't worry too much. This is all the redstone stuff. Just raw redstone and stuff I've made with redstone, like redstone circuits and redstone torches and stuff. So yeah, that's that's pretty much the gist of it. I just kind of wanted to give you guys a tour of the building and what it looked like and, you know, basically how I play Minecraft. I, I don't play creative at all. I never have. I've never been interested in it. Survival is the fun part. I mean, you know, working for everything that you get, I really like that. I really like you know, mining stuff, time mining stuff, and then using that material to actually turn it into something, you know. I've always been big on that. That's how I play even mining single farm missions and use all parts of the cow kind of thing. Just really, really awesome. But yeah, it's a it's a big ass building. It took a long time to build, but I'm pretty proud of it. But now I get to showcase it and you guys can actually see it. So thanks for watching. Uh hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll catch you later.